Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, Power World, some DLSS modes about it. Uh, I want to test uh, different DLSS modes uh, in this game. Uh, the quality, balanced, uh, performance mode and whatever uh, other DLSS modes is in the game. Uh, I also want to test it on native. Um, so I'm curious about the results because uh, I see some posts uh, on Reddit. Uh, that people might want uh, to see the difference between different DLSS and the performance on these modes. Um, so I have the game in 4K. Um, here are some uh, settings that I have. Everything is almost maxed except the shadows because it's taking a lot of performance. Uh, so I'm keeping it on high instead of the maximum. Um, so yeah, let's maybe start uh, without DLSS uh, and put it just on uh, like TAA, for example, and see how that is. So yeah, let's start with the TAA, uh, walk a bit. It says you need to restart the game for effects to take place, but uh, I tested that before I started recording and it doesn't change anything in the performance. So yeah. Um, in TAA, we get like uh, in the 70 FPS, uh, the game looks actually pretty good. Um, in this game, you don't see a lot of the blurriness that TAA will bring. Um, so that's actually quite nice. Um, I will try to walk uh, in this area uh, th uh, through the whole video. So we can try to keep it a bit fair with uh, the performance uh, in the other modes. So I would say we got a decent point, uh, high 60s, uh, mid 70s, uh, sometimes high 70s. So let's maybe go to DLSS quality mode and see if there's any difference. Uh, so yeah, let's go to uh, graphics and change DLSS to quality mode, for example. Uh, Anti-aliasing doesn't work because it goes now to the DLSS uh, mode. So, again, uh, you don't need to restart the game. Um, in my opinion, it looks a little bit better. It is less fuzzy. I hope uh, YouTube compression doesn't change anything. Uh, even with effects, we saw a little FPS drop. Um, but in general, we're getting uh, well, almost double the FPS of native with TAA. So, yeah, I would say don't play on native with TAA, but go on DLSS for sure. If you have an NVIDIA card, um, then yeah, put on DLSS quality. It looks insane. Um, and we're getting about 140 fps so that is also good on 4k ultra settings again um yeah let's change it to balanced mode shall we so yeah let's go to the settings again and put this on balanced uh, yes we want to apply it uh balanced do does look a little bit uh more fuzzy it looks like TAA, honestly, that you will get the, the extra layer of, yeah, I, I always say like a blur filter or something on it. Uh, it is still looking good. Uh, you get in the high 150 FPS, uh, so it is actually really playable. So I assume when you have a, a, a medium setup, uh, Try to go with the uh, quality mode again, but if you still don't get enough FPS, maybe try balanced or like as we're going to do now, we're going to try to do the performance mode. Uh, also, keep in mind, I'm running DLSS 4. It is the latest edition of DLSS and that should have uh, been trained on the performance mode. So I'm really curious how the performance mode is going to perform with the uh, performance but also in how it looks because it should look like quality mode so we're going to find out together so okay let's put on the performance mode uh, i want to set oh, motion blur is already off because sometimes it looks like there's some motion blur or something um 
But let's check. Mm. When you're standing still, everything is nice and sharp. When you're moving, uh, it feels like there is a little bit of a blur. You get higher FPS. Um, so in most games, I recommend the performance mode with the new DLSS 4 model. Uh, in this game specifically, I wouldn't recommend it. Because it looks a bit more blurry. Uh, yeah, when you stand still, it looks sharp. But... When you're walking around, uh, it seems to have like a blur or something. Uh, also, I have been using the DLSS swapper for this game. Um, so maybe I'm going to restart the game and see what happens if I override it with the DLSS app. Uh, I mean the NVIDIA app. And if I change the DLSS to there to override it and see if maybe that will bring a difference to the... Yeah, the blur that is about it because this is the first game that i uh, tested it with it has such a huge blur with the dlss uh performance mode so i'm gonna do that now so i see you guys uh, back in a minute so i'm back um yeah so apparently the nvidia app doesn't allow to override the dlss in this game uh it simply doesn't work uh at the moment i'm playing at the I believe TSR quality, uh, yes, on without DLSS off. Um, we're getting about 99 FPS. Um, but I was thinking, instead of testing uh, further DLSS, uh, another really popular app uh, that's coming up is lossless scaling. So I was thinking to test it out on the two times scaling mode, uh, locking my FPS to 60 and then turn the scaling to two times and see actually the difference between uh, lossless scaling and DLSS and see what is better. I noticed with the DLSS there is zero input lag or at least there probably is some but I cannot notice it either with uh, mouse and keyboard or controller. Uh, both uh, looks to be non-existent. So I'm curious what it will be with, uh, with lossless scaling. So I'm gonna turn it on in one second. Um, so I see that uh, the lossless scaling does not show the FPS overlay on OBS. Uh, there is probably a way to do it. Uh, I just uh, didn't figure it out yet. Uh, maybe in the next video. So now I have uh, it locked to 60 FPS and it is stable to 120. I have lossless scaling times 2. So it is 120, really stable, and uh, it looks really good actually. Uh, I don't find any difference with native, honestly. Um, in my opinion, it looks even better than DLSS in this game. In most cases, uh, it doesn't. Because I tested it in uh, quite a few other games and I saw that lost the scaling doesn't work that good uh, in this case it works amazing so i'm gonna check uh, what will happen if i put it up to three times mode uh, so i have it uh, to three times now and i can clearly see around the head some artifacting uh, i do have stable fps though uh, it doesn't feel like stable fps Mm, yeah i don't like the three times uh frame gen in this game specifically uh i'm gonna switch it back to two times and see if there is any difference because this when turning it doesn't feel smooth it doesn't look good um so yeah uh let's turn it back to two times mode so now it is back to two time and instantly it is just uh, fluent again. Uh, in this I didn't see any FPS drops. It is uh, steady. Uh, I can see the text of the Jet Dragon defeated the chill it and inventory full. It is uh, blurring a little bit. Uh, let's try to walk over uh, this again. You see inventory full. It is like doing crazy stuff over there. Uh, 
let's actually check if that also does it with DLSS uh, without um, the lossless frame gen on. Um, so we're going to try that now. So I have uh, unlocked the FPS again and uh, put on DLSS quality. In my opinion, this uh, game, the quality just looks uh, better than the performance mode. Uh, so let's see if it also gives the weird stuff. No, if you see the inventory full, like there is no issues with blurring or something, or like the lossless frame, uh, the lossless sc scaling did. Uh, so in this game, only if you need it, use the lossless scaling. If you don't need it, just go to quality mode. Uh, that is what uh, I play it on this game. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in the performance mode because usually in games with a new DLSS 4 the performance mode works as good as quality and in some cases even better than quality. Um, so yeah, in this game uh, specifically I would say quality mode for sure DLSS. Uh, it looks better even than the TAA and TSR on native uh, at least that is my op opinion with my testing. Um, so yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys have a nice day. And if you like the video and learn something about it. Give it a like. Uh, put a comment if you want or have any suggestions. And subs subscribe to the channel. Uh, have a great day everybody. Goodbye.